Despite Vultures 2 picking up its first official missed release date, there is a lot of reasons to believe that we are getting closer to Kanye dropping little by little. I love Leaky! Although Ye did actually say the March 8th date, it unfortunately will be joining the ever-growing list of missed Vultures drop dates. But much like with Volume 1, it's clear that Kanye is very focused on getting this project finished, and he's not letting anything distract him, not even a previously announced release date. While we've been hearing quite a lot about Vultures 2 for the past few days from producers like Timbaland, Shadow, Vayas, and AOAA, Kanye himself has not even so much as mentioned it since February 14th when he included a reference to Lil Wayne's verse on lifestyle in an Instagram caption. Besides that, you wouldn't have even known Kanye or Ty were working on the album since they've both been basically radio silent about it for quite a while now. However, just a little while ago, Kanye did acknowledge Vultures 2 and confirmed that he's cooking up for an anticipated release. This confirmation came from a DM Ye sent to Ye Fanatics, which they promptly tweeted after watermarking the shit out of the screenshot. But in the DMs, we see Ye Fanatics asking if the album will be available today, to which Kanye says, we in the lab. And of course, he's going to directly avoid the question in order to not be held to another potential drop date. I would say that this signifies that obviously he is working very hard on the album, but that even he doesn't know yet when it will be released. I still think March 15th is what he will end up going with because it gives him the three upcoming live shows to debut some new songs and get a good feel for the ones that were never played in front of an arena crowd like Gun To My Head, Lifestyle, Don't Kill The Party, and Take Off Your Dress. He did play all of those songs, but Gun To My Head was in Vegas with no live crowd and the other three were all debuted via Instagram Live, so obviously not the kind of setting that Kanye uses to really judge the sound of his work. He very clearly lined these three shows up the way they are so that he can play some songs, maybe tweak them, then two days later play some more, and by the time Rolling Loud comes, he's got everything he needs to polish up the project for a drop next Friday the 15th. Speaking of the upcoming live events at Footprint Center, Chase Center, and Rolling Loud, we found out yesterday that both the Chase and Footprint Centers have not been informed of anything but Vultures 1 songs being played. Chase Center explicitly stated that as far as they knew, it would be Vultures 1 only, and Footprint Center said that nothing had changed. The obvious best conclusion would be that Ye is just going to play what he wants and wouldn't inform the arena staff anyway because they wouldn't really need to know. Plus, he might be wanting to keep it a surprise that that Volume 2 songs will be debuted. At this point, however, I feel like it's almost a given that we will hear something new at one of these shows, with the most likely one being Rolling Loud. But still, I could easily see a song or two getting played in Phoenix and San Francisco. I suppose we are just going to have to wait and find out, and I am super curious to see if they do an official Yeezy.com stream or something like that. I've seen a lot of you guys say you are going to these shows, which is super sick and will definitely be helpful if indeed there is no stream, and we need some eyes and ears on the ground. Two more chances for hearing Vultures 2 material also popped up yesterday with a pre-Phoenix show party hosted by Justin LeBoy and then an after party where Ty is planning on performing. It's way more likely we hear Ty play something new at the after party, but still you never know. So if you are going to the Phoenix shows and are old enough for these events, definitely consider attending because you never know what could be played. Hopefully everyone by now knows how instrumental JPEG Mafia was to helping craft Volume 1's overall sound with his iconic drum production. You should also know, however, that he's going to be doing the same thing and probably more for Volume 2, with him actually saying to a fan a few days ago that he's doing too much for the album. I feel like this probably means Kanye is having him produce his own versions of like every single song in consideration, which is most likely a shit ton of work. Peggy performed at the Pitchfork Music Festival yesterday where he played unheard contributions to both Fuck Some and Paid. Fuck Some also contained the scrapped Quavo feature and this is likely the version of the song he was working on in the Instagram video right when the Freddy beef kicked off. Can you please just bring up Freddy Gibbs' song? I don't like his verse, I don't really like it when you say it because the song is so perfect but he ruins it because he's Paid, on the other hand, pretty much just has his own custom drums, but both of these songs definitely sound a bit wild. Yeah.
tryna fuck some right now, split this little GC. Shit, shit, she said slut me out, she just wanna suck my dick. Shit, take a little pip of that bread, treat it like sexy red. Shit, throw that little shit back, showing you ain't scared. No. Fuck her like a porn star in the car. Fuck her on the jet, yeah, we taking off. I think Peggy did a phenomenal job bringing his own flair to the project while also working with what Kanye already had and wanted to do, and I am so curious to see what he might do on songs like Slide, Gun to My Head, or Don't Kill the Party. Things are really just getting started for Vultures 2 at this point, and Kanye could turn shit up to 11 at any time. The way he's been so secretive about Volume 2, I feel like one day we could wake up to a single randomly dropped. And of course, I do expect new material to be played Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at the live events, so I wouldn't say it's completely over just because the March 8th date was missed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let me know down in the comments if you think Kanye will drop Vultures 2 before the end of March.